A secret formula, some worms, and a piece of Lego. Let's see if we can get these worms to compost plastic. Hello again. So here we are at the start of a new year. It's 3rd of January today. And what we have here is a chemical formula that I've been working on for some time. The idea is I'm hoping that I can coat pieces of plastic with it. It will then dissolve into its constituent molecules and elements, which will then become available to the microbes in the worm bedding. And of course, these microbes is what the worms are after and they eat them. So I'm just going to start with one tiny little piece of Lego, put it into a very small worm bin with only a few worms, because if this goes wrong, I don't want to um, cause any problems for the worms. I'm going to leave it here for about 10 days or two weeks or so, and we'll come back and have a look at it and see how it gets on. So it's 16th of January today, so 3rd, 10, 17, just under two weeks. I'm going to have a look here now and see how that plastic got on. It was a tiny little piece of plastic Lego, and you can see that it's pretty much gone. And where it was, the worms have congregated. Now I've used very few worms. I'm hoping that as the plastic dissolves into its um, constituent pieces, it will become pretty much available to the microbes and then immediately available to the worms. So, so they should process it quite quickly, even though they are very few in numbers. But like I said, I didn't want to cause the worms any problem if this went wrong. But you can see the plastic is pretty much gone there. So we need to make sure that wasn't just a lucky break. So I'm going to try two pieces of Lego now and we'll see how they get on. I'll leave these for another two weeks and I'm going to put them in a different part of the bed because one of the things I want to look at at the end is to see what if any problems are caused to the worm bedding. They're now in the center of this little small bin and we'll come back again in about two weeks and we'll see how they got on. Here we are on the 30th of January. So it's the end of the month. This has been gone for about a month. We'll have a look now at the center of the bin. I can see one tiny little piece of plastic there but pretty much unrecognizable. It doesn't seem to have changed the constituent makeup of the bedding. And you can see the worms have gathered around that spot there as if it was a piece of uh, apple core or vegetable scrap. So they're definitely finding it attractive. Uh, there's a second little tiny piece of plastic there. But to all intents and purposes, those two Lego bricks are now gone, which is fantastic news because it seems like the concoction I put together does seem to be working. Now this is only a trial and I could be getting lucky here if you like but you can imagine the potential that this will have if we were at some point in the future able to simply coat anything that was plastic and feed it to our worms making vermicompost with it. So okay so I've tried one little Lego brick and now then two and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a few more bigger pieces and see how they get on. So I've got a few small Lego bricks here and a couple of large pieces, larger pieces I should say. I'm going to put them at the end of the box. So we've fed the plastic coated with this chemical formula at the one end, the middle and this end. Because there's a lot more pieces here I'm going to leave it for a little bit longer. So this is end of January uh, they've had two, two weeks, so maybe I'm thinking, I'm thinking something like two months now really would be appropriate to come back and have a look at that. So where are we now? January, um, February, March, end of March, beginning of April. So if we come back 1st of April, we'll have a look and see how they got on. You can see the worms are making their way to it straight away. Let's come back around 1st of April and have a look. So here we are on the 1st of April. I'm going to start at the opposite end to the end I fed because I just want to have a look a little bit of a closer look at the bedding and so, uh, what what on earth